Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to enable remote access to Postgres server. So I have listed uh, all the steps in, uh, in a notepad and we are going to walk through that uh, followed by a demo. So when you install a Postgres SQL, so by default connection to the Postgres are, are, are not, not enabled. So if you try to access the uh, Postgres uh, SQL server uh, from, from remote server, you will not be able to access. You will get the, uh, the, the message that P, uh, PSQL could not connect to server, server connection refused. This, this is because this is the behavior by default. So if you have to enable the connection to the remote server, you need to make some changes. And in this demo, we will see how to make those uh, changes. So this, uh, in this demo setup, we have two server. One is 192.168.1.61, which is my server where Postgre uh, service is running and the Postgre uh, 12 is running over there. And uh, we have a client with the IP address 1.71. Uh, from the client side, we will try to access the, uh, the Postgre. So let me show you the setup which we have. So these, uh, this is Mobile Xtrom. So I'm logged in to Mobile Xtrom to both the uh, IP addresses. One is 192.168.1.61 uh, and another is 71. So what we are going to do is in the first step, uh, let us check the status of uh, of the service which is running as of now. So we'll say system CTL status Postgre SQL 12. So you can see that a status is uh, running and if I have to log into the server, I'll just say uh, sudo su hyphen Postgre and uh, I will just say psql. So this will take me to, to the prompt on to the local server. So if I say slash L, this will list down all the database. So there is a database with the name node 61. So what we, we will do in this demo is we will try to access all the databases from the remote server. Uh, from the remote client. So the client IP address is 192.168.1.71. So how do we connect from the remote uh, server is uh, using psql hyphen u uh, username is the postgre hyphen h is and uh, the host name of the server where postgre service is running. So we will run this uh, command from uh, the client, client side. So let me run this. So psql hyphen u postgre hyphen h and the server where postgre service is running. You can see that uh, could not connect to the server, uh, connection refused. Uh, but if I try to ping, this is pingable, uh, the, uh, uh, the port is open. So the, everything is fine with that, but there are some settings which are not enabled, so we are not able to access it. So what we will do in, 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 uh, in this uh, demo is we'll go through the steps uh, so there are three steps which we need to perform. In the first step, there is a file called as pg underscore hba.conf where we need to add the client authentication record. And uh, once we open this file uh, using the editor, uh, uh, I'm, I will be using VI editor and this is the location in my case. And uh, there is a section which is IPB4 local connections and there I will mention host all all and the IP address of the client uh, slash subnet and the authentication method. This is the first step which we will do on to the uh, Postgre server. In the second step, we will add it Postgre SQL.conf and we will search for a parameter called as listen underscore addresses. By default, this is mentioned as localhost. So only uh, the connection from the localhost is allowed. When we have to enable the connection from the remote environment, we have to mention the IP address of uh, the server itself. If you have more IP addresses assigned, so you have to mention all those. So whatever NIC card it is listening, you have to mention the IP address of uh, that. 
please make sure that you mention the IP address of the server, not the client. The client IP address is to be mentioned only on pg underscore hba.conf. In the third step, we'll restart the service. In the fourth step, we will access it using the command prompt. So let's go to the first step. In the first step, uh, let's log into PSQL and say uh, show data underscore directory and we will find the location where uh, where this uh, uh, hba.conf file is uh, located. So you can see I have uh, navigated to that step. And uh, then what we will do is pg, uh, we have to edit that file pghba pg underscore hba.conf I'm using uh, the VI editor and uh, then what you have to do is scroll down till you find uh, uh, IPB4 connections And here you mention the IP address of your uh, uh, your client. So I'll be mentioning it as host all all IP address of the client and authentication using uh, MD5. So let me give some spacing. And uh, you can mention like uh, which which uh, client it is, or you can mention the list of the IP address or the conditions also, uh, like uh, which all are eligible to connect. So we have added the IP address of the client. Then in the next step, what we will do is we will uh, add it Postgre uh, SQL dot file and. Uh, it is in the same location data directory and here what we will do is uh, there is a parameter called as uh, uh, listen addresses which is by default localhost so you have to add uh, you have to replace localhost with the IP address of the server the IP address of the server where this uh, this is running is 192.168.1.61 uh, the IP address of this uh, server itself. Where I'm typing the command, this is the server only. Just save it. And in the third step, what we will do is we have made two changes. We have uh, uh, mentioned uh, the, uh, the details IP address of the client in hba.conf. And uh, what in the second step, what we have done is uh, uh, we have uh, uh, we have added the uh, the uh, PostgreSQL.conf and we have replaced uh, uh, localhost with the IP address of the server. It is not the address of the client; it is address of the server itself. Uh, the service is restarted. Uh, it is running as as expected. Now we will try to uh, to uh, fire this command on on remote server. So it is psql hyphen u postgre hyphen h. This is prompting for the password. I have mentioned the password for the postgre user as password only. So you can see that I am able to log in. And if I say slash L, I can see uh, that it is connected to the remote uh, server and uh, a node 61 database we created and it is available here now. Or we can try one more step. We can create uh, uh, one more database. So we'll say create a database test now. And this should be visible here. Slash L. So test now is, is visible from the remote server. 
So this is the way we, we access uh, the Postgre from a remote server. So just to recap, um, we edited uh, pg underscore hba.conf and in uh, IPv4 local connections, we, uh, we mentioned the IP address of the client. And uh, then in step two, we edited postgresql.conf and we replaced localhost with the IP address of the server. And then in the third step, we started uh, the Postgre uh, service. And in the fourth step, we tested the remote connections. So this is how we access the Postgre uh, remotely. I hope this is going to help. Stay tuned for uh, another video. Thank you.